All right, so one of the first activities I want to share um, is what I did with my kids yesterday. Um, we did ripped paper art. So you can really like vary this to whatever you want. Um, for your younger kids, they can just rip the paper um, and glue it on, or not even glue. Um, for older kids, um, for example, I have a kindergartner who's working on sight words. You could um, pencil out the sight words and then have them rip the paper and put the paper on each sight word. Um, some of the reasons this is so great is that when you're ripping the paper, and here's what we used. We used, um, I used my magazine sitting around that I haven't looked at in months. So we found pages that have a lot of color on them, um, lots of different colors, and we ripped those out. And then what the kids can do is just rip the paper. Um, and what this incorporates is using this pincer grasp. Um, we use our pincer grasp for everything from zippers, buttons, holding a pencil, um, all those sorts of things. We need that, that grasp and we need a good strong grasp. So this is a fun way to work on that. It also works on that motion of moving your hands together. Um, so this is a really great activity um, just to get that control and that pinch. Um, a lot of kids, especially your little ones, you see they're going to want to just kind of pull it apart. Um, that one actually rips. Sometimes it doesn't. They kind of just get this weird. So you really want to work on using these two pin fingers to pinch and tear. Um, another way this is great is that when you're um, gluing on the paper, use squeeze glue. Um, I know people don't like squeeze glue. It's messy. I get it. Um, and we've really, this world's kind of gone to glue sticks now. Um, but if you use that squeeze glue, you're having to squeeze. It's strengthening your fingers. It's strengthening these small muscles in your hands. Um, again, good for those fine motor skills. Um, when it comes to holding pencils and scissors and things like that, you need those muscles developed. So using the squeeze glue. And there's the control of you draw the shape or whatever it is in the paper and putting the glue on that um, and having to follow that. It's tracing, but it's a funner way of tracing than um, using a pencil and just tracing letters over and over again. Um, so those are just really great activities. If you're doing um, gluing in a straight line, it's crossing midline. You need to have one hand cross over to the other side of the body. Um, another really essential skill. So um, that's just one activity you can do with your kids. My kids, um, they kind of varied. You can see this one. Um, it's mountains, a river, grasp, the sun, and the sky. Um, my younger one, sorry, I've like lost all these papers. She did um, a fall leaf, and then she started this, and then we had to move on to something else. Um, my middle girl, here's hers. Um, she did trees with the treetops and the night sky. Um, so they can get creative, and it's just fun. There's really no messing up. And like I said, you can have them do sight words. You can have um, do shapes. It works on colors. So all those academic things, too. Um, but it really does work on those fine motor skills. Um, so that's one activity for you for today. Um, and I will be posting more later. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.